An Australian man has become the world's first person to receive a new stem cell procedure that it's hoped will cure Parkinson's disease. Medical researchers at the Royal Melbourne Hospital injected the cells into the brain as part of a clinical trial. 71-year-old Fred Van Ross has been living with Parkinson's for more than a decade. Well, I take the positive approach and uh, don't think about Parkinson's. I take my medication, which is important. But for 12 patients with moderate to severe Parkinson's, a new surgery could be life-changing. One of those, a 64-year-old man suffering from Parkinson's for 13 years. The first to have the five-hour procedure. The unique treatment uses neural stem cells derived by a US laboratory from an unfertilised egg. The cells are implanted into areas of the brain affected by Parkinson's. The hope? To regenerate the hormone dopamine, which is lost with the disease. When you get a loss of the chemical transmitter dopamine, you can see a problem of stiffness, slowness of movement and tremor. Precision key when injecting stem cells into the brain. If you get it wrong, you cause a bleed or you get into the wrong spot, you can cause a stroke and your patient can die. The stem cells inserted through two holes in the skull, targeting 14 sites on the brain. This model of the patient's skull is critical in planning the surgery. We did about three or four dummy runs, and full dummy runs as in from the time the patient comes to theatre to doing the procedure, getting the stem cell to the lab. The patients monitored for 12 months post-surgery to evaluate the safety and effects of the cells. The transplant of stem cells in the remaining 11 patients will be completed next year and results to be known in 2019. This surgery is offering hope to the approximately 80,000 Australians living with Parkinson's disease. It might be too late for me, but, uh, but there's always hope. I certainly live with hope. Quality of life's important to me. The medical world possibly on the verge of a new treatment. Aileen Phillips, SBS World News.